Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. Not locks, not a nation. I want to give you guys another video for reggae month here on the Not Nation channel. Today's video, we're actually talking about Coffee, a reggae artist from Jamaica, 17 years old, making waves in the reggae scene. So make sure you stay tuned, stay subscribed. This is Not Nation. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Coffee, original Coffee. She's been doing some waves here in Jamaica with her reggae. And it's cool to see some of the younger generation coming up, uh, making some movements. And so far on Reggae Month, I have dived into a lot of 70s artists, old school artists. And I think it's good to bring up some new school, some new young faces in the dreg game, in the reggae game. So, uh, being Reggae Month, I, I want to talk about coffee. Oh, in her eyes, I'm boss. Yeah, we give things that we need it the most. It says here that she's 17 year old Jamaican singer songwriter. Her locks looking pretty fire as well. She's got some bleach dye on the ends of them. And the new growth coming in natural colors. Um, 17 years old, graduated from Ardeen High School. She has a huge passion for music. Mainly just want to look at her locks. She does wear them a lot in this two strand twist fashion. It almost reminds me of Fetty Wap, the same way he was rocking his dreads when he had the fake dreads put in. Obviously, I don't think Coffee's rocking that same fake look. Um, here she has her dreads tied back, um, still in the two strand twists, and really rocking that two strand twist a lot. Um, this picture looks like it's in Jamaica and not London, UK. <laughs> Hairstyle actually looking pretty unique. Now notice some of the bleach is fading out on some of these locks, meaning she's probably had this hair dye in there for quite some time. And she honestly kind of reminds me of Willow Smith a little bit. Her locks here in a half updo and uh, her length actually pretty much down to her chest almost. And it seems like she's been getting some twists or some interlockage happening here because you can see her scalp things are going right down um creating a part in her hair um in this photo actually the two strand twists were taken out to create the crinkly effect on her locks and looking at her roots here you can actually tell that these are in fact interlocked dreads opposed to twists and you can really tell by right here you can kind of see like a y shape happening on some of these locks which is actually a bad thing when you have dreads if you end up getting like a y loop on your locks when you're interlocking it means you interlock the same spot to the same loop twice essentially that doesn't make a dread properly i'm really feeling this two strand twist look i really like how she's rocking this one a lot of the times it does seem to be like her favorite and her signature look now of course you can get this just by having someone twist your dreads together put rubber bands on the end of them to kind of keep them in place you could do it yourself as well probably wouldn't take too long and she's got a really good sound as well another close-up here of the two strand twist fetty wop dreads pretty much you can see the rubber bands in the tips there and she's even on stage with chronics music big up jamaica that's a huge movement for her to be doing that as well in this photo she's actually got the dread bun on top of her head some more pictures here real quick of coffee real golden locks goldy locks happening here real cool look here with her hair flipped to one side and her dreads are actually straight in this picture no twist out no crinkle uh, here she's actually rocking some fish bones almost like a half fish bone braid out looks pretty cool actually um, definitely a great beneficial thing of, of having thin dreads you can get these braid outs a lot easier than thicker dreads but you can do it with thick dreads as well shot of her playing on the guitar dreads looking a little bit wispier here in her earlier stages of the locks tips not really as blunted as much and a quick little ponytail updo here i like the color that she's added to her locks it looks really dope this photo showing us the flower petal look this look was made popular by uh, the youtuber cheska locks cheska locks had some tutorials on how to do these petal type updos with dreads for females it is a really cool look there's a picture of her running her fingers through her dreads 
<laughs> Very vibrant colors. Looks wicked in front of the Jamaica flag like that. Flower petal updo with the headphones on. Notice how she's wearing her headphones kind of like on the top of her forehead and not on her updo because she doesn't want to ruin the hairstyle. Quick picture of her getting her dreads twisted into two strand twists. But I have a feeling they were faking this shot here. <laughs> I'm really a fan of this look how her dreads were in the earlier stages with the looser curl set. I really like this look here. Really neat look that she's got going on, dreadlocks. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of her locks. Do they look like Fetty Wops or not? And she seems to really be loving the pedal, the pedal updo. So I mean, all in all, coffee really rocking different hairstyles with her interlocked dreads she does do the crinkle out a lot and she does do the uh, well she does a crinkle out a lot and she does do the flower petal look a lot as well so um, definitely some pretty cool looks and I do like this mishmash of bleach versus black hair mixed in with her locks in here as well but again let me know in the comments below what you guys think of coffee uh, great a uh, great way to keep reggae month going with some new faces in the reggae scene and of course some new faces in the dreadlock scene so keep going in coffee your music is fire and i'll see you guys in the next dreadlock update so peace out one love until next time stay happy and natty and i'll see you guys in the next dreadlock update adios